Hi guys, today we'll be learning how to calculate the zone time of sunset uh, in a particular position uh, for a particular date. Now I'll be using the almanac of 2004 uh, and you can use any almanac, the principles remain the same. Uh, what uh, a new thing we'll be learning today is how to use the tables for interpolating sunrise and moonrise. These this tables are called uh, uh, table 1 for latitude as well and these tables are given to you at the end of the nautical almanac uh, it's uh, normally the page immediately after when the increments and corrections pages end so towards the end of the nautical almanac you will see there are two tables given to you table 1 and table 2 what we'll be using today is table 1 for interpolating sunrise moonrise for latitude Alright, so we'll take the example of sunset. You can also use it for sunset, of course. And uh, the question here is that you have to find the zone time uh, of sunset for an observer in position 32 degrees 16 minutes north and 102 degrees 4.1 minute west on 25th of February 2004. Alright, so to do that, you first have to go into the nautical almanac for the page of 25th of February. And what I have here is an extract of the same page uh, and this is from a 2004 almanac of course um, as soon as you go to the date of 25th of February uh, you can see here that this is uh, zero degrees here right uh, and this is the sunset column the times given to you here uh, all the times here are LMT times this is the local mean time uh, assuming that the Sun takes exactly 24 hours uh, to rotate around the earth which is not the case but uh, that's what the LMT or the local mean time is based on so you have to apply certain corrections to the LMT time to get the zone time of sunset for an observer alright so this is zero degrees here as you go up from zero degrees you have all the north latitude you can see there is N which denotes north and as you go down from zero degrees you have all the south latitudes uh, denoted by S right now what you have is the sunset time for 30 degrees north Alright, so if I can say this is 30 degrees north, I'll just uh, get rid of all this so that you guys don't get confused. Right, so for 30 degrees north, uh, you have the time given to you as 17 hours 56 minutes. So this is the local mean time. But what you need is the local mean time of sunset for 32 degrees and 16 minutes north because that's the question. Right. So what's the difference between the two latitude values is uh, 32 degrees 16 minutes north minus 30 degrees north will give you 2 degrees 16 minutes, right? That's the difference between the two latitudes. And you can see that uh, as you go up from 30 degrees to 35 degrees, as you go up, you can see that the sunset time is reducing. So naturally, if from 30 to 35, it's reducing, so from 30 as you go up to 32 degrees and 16 minutes which is the question you know that the sunset time will be reducing so the correction you obtain should be subtracted from the value of 30 degrees north all right so these are some of the information that you will take into account before you go into the tables uh, for interpolating sunrise moonrise all right so let's go into the tables for sunrise and moonrise and uh, the table is in the next page here all right now this is what the table looks like uh, sorry about that and this keeps happening to me <laughs> so here you go all right so you can see here that uh, these are the tables given to you this is the table that I said is at the end of the nautical almanac if you if you go through the nautical almanac you will find it towards the end just after the increments pages in end you will find this table so you will use table 1 because table 2 is for longitude and it is used for interpolating the local mean time of moonrise moonset and moon's meridian passage now that's a separate topic we'll cover it some other time what you will use is table 1 which is used for sunrise sunset twilight moonrise etc but for a latitude uh, latitude is the one that you take into account for correction all right so how do you use this table now remember the difference we got between 30 degrees and 32 degrees 16 minutes was 2 degrees 16 minutes right now if you see the column here which is tabulated interval all right this is the first column that you have to consider now you have to go down the 5 degree column the column here now why 5 degrees because remember uh, the values that you saw in the previous table was for 30 degrees 
and the next one was for 35 degrees all right and the difference between 30 and 35 is 5 degrees correct that's right that's why you will choose 5 degrees but the difference between 30 and 32 degrees 16 minutes 32 degrees 16 minutes is actually 2 degrees and 16 minutes right we can't find exactly 2 degrees and 16 minutes the closest one that we'll be able to find if we go down the 5 degree column is 2 degree 15 minutes not 16 but 15 but that will do as you can see for 215 uh, 2 degrees 15 minutes the correction is 2 and for 2 degrees 30 minutes the correction is 2 as well so it won't change much right so you can see that the uh, difference between the times okay now now why are we looking down the five minute column here yeah. why are we looking down the five minute column why are we not looking at the 10 minute 15 minute 20 minutes which are given here the rest of the time here yeah. right now to do that uh, to understand this uh, it's very simple all right the reason we do that is because you have to see what was the difference in time between 30 degrees north and 35 degrees north which was given to you now one was 1756 and the other one was 1751 all right the difference between these two times is five minutes and that's why we look down the five minute column all right so if we look down the five minute column and we go down the five degree interval which is the interval between 35 degrees and 30 degrees is five degrees and of course we stop at 2 degrees 15 minutes because that's the closest we can come to 2 degrees 16 minutes the correction that we get is 2 minutes so that's how we use the correction or the tables for interpolating sunrise moon rays all right so if you didn't understand it just rewind it and go through the uh, just uh, you know pause the video or go back on the video and watch it again uh, as to how I got this remember the tabular interval column is the first column it's given in bold that's the tabular interval column here is the first column you go down the 5 degree column because the 5 degree is the difference between 30 degree and 35 degrees right the 2 degree and 15 minutes you go down and you stop here is because that's the value you need it comes closest to 2 degrees and 16 minutes because the tables of the nautical MNI give you a value of 30 degrees but you need it for 32 degrees and 16 minutes now you can't find 2 degrees and 16 minutes but 2 degrees and 15 minutes come the closest and then where is the 5 minute column coming from the 5 minute comes from here because uh, the times which are given to you are uh, 1751 and 1756 and the interval between these two is 5 minutes that's why you go down here all right so i hope you've understood it so once you get the correction which is 2 you come to this this steps here so you write down the LMT sunset time for 30 degrees which was 1756 from the nautical almanac. Correction one that you got from the table is 2. This is the one you got and I have put it here 2. Right? If it's becoming too much for you. Or 2 and you are subtracting it because remember we, we saw that as we are going from 30 degrees to 35 degrees the sunset time was going backward. Right? So that's why you are subtracting it. Then you get LMT sunset time corrected is 1754. Longitude in time, and this is west longitude, you get 648. How do you get this 6 hours 48 minutes? You just divide longitude by 15. Right? So you divide longitude by 15. And in this case, of course, if I go back, the longitude was 102 degrees 4.1 right so that's what i've done longitude one degrees 4.1 minutes so just be patient with me sorry if this happens every time so here you go so 102 degrees let me do that again so longitude divided by 15 so 102 degrees 04.1 minute if you divide it by 15 you will get 6 hours 48 minutes and this is also called LIT or longitude in time and this is west longitude so if you are in west longitude of course your uh, uh, LMT will be more because you will be um, 
uh, yeah, sorry, your GMT will be more because GMT is ahead of you when you are in West Longitude, GMT is ahead of you. So, uh, I hope you have divided 102 degrees 4.1 minutes by 15 and you will be getting somewhere around 648, 6 hours 48 minutes. So, uh, because your ship is in West Longitude, GMT is ahead of you, uh, you will add the longitude in time. So, once you do that, you go into the next state. So, you add 6 hours 48 minutes to 17. 54 you will add it here you subtract it you go into the next day 7 hours uh, which becomes midnight 42 minutes on the 26th and then you have to apply your zone now your zone depends on the lit as well but you round off the figure so since i got my zone as 6 hours 48 minutes i will round off my zone to 7 hours Right, I've explained all this before in my previous videos. Please go and see this. Uh, this video is not about that. So, I have told you before that you know this world is divided into zones. So, if this is zero 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 degrees longitude, as you go and you're facing it, as you go, uh, the first seven and a half degrees east and first seven and a half degrees west is zero zone zero, zone zero because this is the same time as GMT. And then as you go east, every fifteen degrees you add one hour and similarly as you go every 15 degrees to the west you will subtract one hour all right so remember i have talked about these concepts in my other videos so that's why your zone here uh, because uh, it's west longitude depends directly on the lit here this is the time that you actually keep on the ship you cannot keep a uh, lit time on the ship because lit time changes with every longitude it's not a practical time to maintain on the ship so although your zone time is directly dependent on lit or longitude time you round off you round off and you go to the number which is closest to the lit time so in this case it was more than six hours and 30 minutes it was six hours 48 minutes very close to seven hours your zone becomes minus seven it becomes minus because your zone time on the ship you will be behind uh, gmt gmt will be ahead of you all right and then again this becomes 25th of february so your zone time for sunset is 25th of February 1742 alright so hope uh, this was clear to you if it was not just watch these videos again I know that I've written a lot of these things here but this time I try something different I thought um, I will keep everything on one page so that I don't have to go to and fro uh, so watch this video a couple of times uh, this video was mainly about understanding how to use the tables for interpolating sunrise moonrise from the nautical almanac uh, if you have any questions uh, shoot me a comment on my youtube video thank you